do it. Got got this little stinger, you know. My guy here can help me out. It's clean though. It was a lease. They upgraded to the uh, to the 22. This a this is a GT one, but it actually has a lot of the uh, features that the GT2 has. Heated and cooled seats. Something that like the regular version only has heated. It got the uh, the uh, which call What's that thing called? The charging pad right there. Pretty dope. There's a lot more cooped up in this car versus the uh, <clears throat> versus the uh, y'all can't tell on camera, but it's a lot more cooped up in this car. Has more of a coupe feel. Sorry to be ignorant, but it has way more of a cooped up feel than uh, than the Q50 does. And it feels like the G70. Whenever I ride my dance car, it feels just about the same. Whenever it comes to uh, the space on the inside. Okay. okay. I'm not. I'm not going nowhere. Right. I'm gonna just sit here, wait for you. Uh -huh. I said I'm just sit here, wait for okay. you. Well, yeah, I was talking to him just now. Um, only thing that like, like what I noticed in the G70 is just that the, uh, the overall feel, quality build, and all of that is not as uh, nice as the um, as the Q50. And the Q50 is older. Like the armrest, way more tough. But this is a used car, so it got some some creaks to it. But I, I I could probably fix the creaks. I know how to fix creaks. Q50 creaked a little bit with the armrest too, but I fixed that. It's simple. It's not hard. Uh, it's got 24,000, almost 24,000 miles on it. Got a 3.3, of course, it's a GT. Twin turbo. Way faster than the 3.7. I love my 3.7 though. The way that it sounds, the way that it performs. Harman Kardon sound system, real dope. Close this door. Quiet in here, decently quiet. Let me put on. Ah, oh, no, but I put on the radio. Nope, copyright. Got the memory seat settings. Auto up and down for just the drivers and passenger window. Auto folding. That's my favorite. That's one of my favorite features. That is so dope, bro. Something that, like I said in that other video, why did they take that off the Q50? Why? Sunroof controls. I love the sunroof though, how it uh, flies back. Like uh, Mr. Organic and Tall Guy said, two pay gone, like Donald Trump or something. But it's pretty uh, It's pretty similar to the Q50 as far as spacing in the back seat. Um, My seat is like linked back to the way that I have in the Q50. I think I would pull it up just a little bit more, have a little bit more upright. Now, this is just way more cooped up, guys. Seriously, man. But I love it. I really do love it. Got a coat hanger right there. I just noticed that. That's dope. The GT on the headrest. But I would, um, I would want just from feeling this leather. Eh, it's not bad. It's not bad. It just feels like regular Kia Hyundai. Like this just really reminds me of regular Kia Hyundai. It's not bad at all. But I would just, excuse me, really just love the. Uh, the Napa to see how that feels because that would be like but I really want the gear shift though so I, I maybe maybe I'll just have to see in the future if I would skip out on getting the uh getting the uh whatchamacallit what's the thing called the GT versus the GT2 or GT1 GT2 so y'all like man if y'all get man it's just because it's so much more. The roof, the roof line is what's killing it. But I don't really have nobody in my backseat other than like some of my family members sometimes. My little brothers. I don't really be sitting in the back seat or none of that. Ah, goodness gracious. I say this feels like the, uh, the G70. Got 35% on it. Trash, 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 trash. Nobody trying to deal with no 35%, bro. Ah, it's nice and soft, nice and big. To um, sorry, I had y'all at the ground. My fault. I don't got my uh, tripod on. I took it off, left it in the car. 
2019 Kia Stinger. Metal. What, the, what is this? I don't even know what this color is called. Turbo. Turbo one. Turbo two. Turbo two. Super dope. GDI. Nothing crazy. Stock, 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 stock. The uh, black chrome. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of this color. I wouldn't like this. If I was to get one that's like this and it didn't have the black interior like I liked. Yeah, it just feels like whenever I just close the door just now, it just feels like my uh. My Elantra. Not not in a bad way, in a good way though. I feel like I'm at home because that was my first car. I don't know. But I'm gonna let y'all boys go. If you liked it, go ahead and you know.